I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic Italian mel wine. So spice! First of all, you need two bottles of wine, a good red wine. Make sure it's not cooking wine. You drink a wine, and this is good wine, you're going to use it. But make sure you use Italian wine, because this is Italian old wine. Okay, this is on. Put them on a the boil. While those boiling, you start to get two star anise, straight in a pesto motor, 20 of a clove, pink peppercorns, handful, black peppercorn, a teaspoon, cardamom, four, five, six, straight in a pesto motor, two branches of rosemary, which you cut it, but you don't put them inside. You have to crush it because the rosemary oil is completely different when you actually boil it. Little bunch of thyme, just put all inside. Just a little chili to spice it up because it can be sometimes very strong. Then some fennel seeds, a teaspoon, a fennel seed. Then we gave it a kind of a Mediterranean flavor. Three bay leaves, which you crush it with your hands. Get the oil, oil out, just crush it, go straight inside. Eight figs, which you cut them in half, they give you that lovely sweetness. You get two fantastic vanilla pods, which you open with your finger, straight in. When it goes with wine, the combination of a balance well, let's give it a lovely spice and perfume. One orange and one lemon. First of all, I need to get the orange, the pills and put them inside. Everything, just go in and squeeze it. Oh, the lovely juice. Once you squeeze it, just drop them inside. Then you get the lemons, again, you do the suckle the same. Good. Just put them all inside. One stick of a cinnamon, crush it, and cut them in half. Boom! Explosion of, of flavor. Then you need here, this is my friend Valentino made that is limoncello for me. If you wanted to see how to make a limoncello, just click here on the side. Perfect limoncello. I use 150 ml. 100. 150, 100 and a bit. And I'm going to use 50 ml of vermouth, sweet vermouth. Straight inside. Fantastic. Three tablespoons of honey. I love honey. One. Just put them inside. Two. Let me show you. And three. The smell is already incredible. Look. A less crush, all the spice. If you can get inside here, look at that. All this fantastic flavor. The explosion of a flavor. When you actually put them all inside. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It doesn't take long to do it. Nutmeg. Just little touch of a nutmeg. Let it boil for a little bit, but not too long. And let it stir it. Many people want to make mold wine, they don't actually they, they boil or simmer for a long time. But I do because I want to get those beautiful flavor. All to mix, balance together. I want at least something to be cooked. Let's do it this way. Put the sieve right in the middle. Pure, flavored, centrality. Bless this beautiful mold and wine! Yes! Mmm! Mmm! The rosemary just start to come out now. And the lemon start to settle down. In a cold month, this is the perfect. This is how we make a home. This is the Italian way. You want to drink? You want to drink? You're going to make it.